MIT has some of the world's greatest scientists working on autism research, and this new center was established to fund all new research directions by those scientists. We're going to apply revolutionary new approaches in biology to understanding autism. So gene therapy is a type of treatment that aims to correct problems that occur in your DNA code. My name is Omar Badea. I'm an MD-PhD student at MIT and Harvard, and Jonathan Gusenberg is my uh, work spouse. <laughs> You know, one of the technologies we've really been developing is this new RNA editing technology called Repair. And Repair is a system for taking uh, a specific letter and changing it to a different letter. And so one really exciting thing you could imagine is using our new technology, we could screen the hundreds or thousands of mutations you've seen in patients with autism in a dish or some sort of model um, and actually try to understand what are the most relevant mutations, what pathways they act through. And when you get that better understanding, you start to have a map for building better treatments. So we are specifically looking at how the immune activation during pregnancy can lead to brain disorders such as autism in offspring. We would like to understand how the gut microbiome in the mother's body actually can modulate this entire process and we want to ask whether we can take advantage of this process to either prevent or treat the development of autism. Hey, I'm Tobias Kaiser. I work in Guping Feng's lab, and I'm also the Tan Yang Fellow. My goals are similar to those of most researchers. You want to change the world in some way. So I'm doing two things mainly. One is I uh, understand a gene that's highly implicated in autism better. And the second is that we try to develop gene therapies for those disorders. So what I'm really hoping is that as we focus on one disorder, we can actually expand these and generalize some of these strategies also to other disorders. So autism is a really interesting puzzle. I'm AJ Haskins. I work in this building um, for labs that recruit individuals with autism. So Dima and I have worked on uh, a couple of projects together, recruiting individuals with autism to do brain imaging studies. It's really hard um, to recruit and bring in participants into the lab for a study. Uh, and so we often end up with small samples and the sample is not representative of the whole spectrum. What we are trying to do is um, to aggregate data from various labs at MIT, uh, but eventually various labs from all over the world, ultimately to um, address um, a few of the challenges um, of autism research. You know, when you put the very best people onto a problem and you give them all the resources they need to solve that problem, I can't help but be hopeful I think we're entering a new era of autism research and the endpoint is going to be new therapies.